There are police all over Youngstown tonight, mostly on the south side, looking for anyone doing anything wrong. Youngstown Police, the Sheriff's Department, and the State Patrol are working together, doing what are oftentimes called saturation patrols. They'll be at it all weekend. What they're looking for and what they're ending up with is our top story at 10. The first stop we witnessed was made around 445 in front of the Mahoning County Courthouse downtown. A state patrolman and sheriff's deputy riding together spotted a car driving outside of its lane. Uh, while speaking to the driver of the vehicle, they did detect the odor of raw marijuana and then consequently a search was conducted in which they found the marijuana and the uh, paraphernalia. The marijuana and paraphernalia could be seen on top of the car. The stop was made as part of this weekend's saturation patrols involving the Youngstown Police, State Patrol, and Mahoning County Sheriff's Department. It's really a fantastic opportunity. It gives us a chance to work more closely with the Highway Patrol and with Youngstown Police um, to keep the city safe. A short drive from downtown, we headed into the south side, stopping at South Avenue in Marmion, where a man was pulled over on a small motorcycle. A state trooper and a Youngstown police officer made the stop. Um, and they investigated the stop. They revealed that the, the, the VIN was scratched out and uh, it's being sent off to the detectives for follow-up. Sounds like something minor, but it could lead to something major. Well, the detectives may follow up and find that there's a uh, theft ring or a bike theft ring, and, and that's what we're hoping for today. On Cooper Street, a semi was parked on the sidewalk next to the vacant Adams School. That driver ended up with a ticket that will cost him $10. While trying to look for something bigger, we're still concerned about little things, uh, improving uh, the community, even something as simple and small as this. Uh, we still keep that in mind while we're out there looking for big things. We're, we're still trying to enforce the, the small things to keep our community nice. Now, there was also an incident today on St. Louis Avenue where a fight broke out between a suspect and a state trooper. The state trooper had to go to the hospital. He was cut up a bit, but was expected to be okay.